In this analysis video, we're going to take a look at Patrick Reed. Now, Patrick Reed is one of the young stars on tour. Um, he is currently fourth in the FedEx Cup and 15th in the world ranking. And he is uh, 20th in strokes gain tee to green and 21st in strokes gain putting. So he's got a pretty good well-rounded game, but we're going to talk about some of the idiosyncrasies of his swing and how they help explain some of his driving accuracy problems and why he's such a good bunker player. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to take a look at what makes his swing work and how you can apply some of it to your own game. When I do these analysis, I, I think it's important that we focus on the things that kind of look weird or the idiosyncrasies of his swing and talking about why they work because all of these tour golfers are going to have pretty good swing paths, pretty good face control, you know, compared to the average golfer. Uh, they're going to have very good sequencing. There's going to be a lot more similarities. So um, when we start with Patrick Reed, we're going to look at the transition and the release because that's where we see a lot of the, of the weird moves. Um, one of my favorite lines is, what looks weird and what is this doing for the golfer? So if we take a look at the face-on view, you'll see that the first thing that looks weird in his transition is uh, his right leg tends to straighten and his left foot t tends to replant in a more closed position. So here he was at the top of the swing and you can see that his lead foot is pointed slightly out that way and then a few frames later it's pointed pretty much at the golf ball. Now during the release what's going to look weird is that he's going to basically have that left foot spin and move behind him um, as he releases the club. So from this face on view it's a little better frame rate you'll be able to see there's that straightening of the leg he's replanting his foot in a little bit more closed position and then as he comes down and through the release you can watch there's his the toe of his left foot and as he comes through you can see that the the toe of his left foot is now somewhere back there. So why would this golfer have this little replanting with the feet and then change of movement during uh, the release? That's what we're going to discuss um, so that you can understand how he is able to get the club to swing the way that he does. So if we jump back to transition and we look at the engine of his swing, you can see that his lower body tends to rotate relatively quickly. Um, and compared to his left foot, he doesn't seem to have very much lateral movement of the lower body. Um, so from the, from the down the line view, that would give the appearance that his hips are going to be more level here um, than you know someone who has a little bit more of the axis tilt or hip slide. So there's a couple reasons that he might be doing that, but um, one of the most likely is if we take a look at the face on. Um, when, he, when he does this little hip rotation move, um, we'll, we'll see in a later video that he's going to be shallowing out the club with his arms a pretty good amount. Um, so in order to get the, the path right, he's going to have to have a certain amount of steeps and a certain amount of shallows. Now because his upper body is pretty much on top of his lower body, um, that's going to inherently add a little bit of a steep. So in order to prevent that, he's going to keep, or I guess in order to balance that, he's going to keep more of his mass and his upper body behind the golf ball. Now, because of that, um, the left foot is basic, or the yeah, the left foot is going to be more unweighted at impact, and it's going to have freedom to kind of slide and rotate as he goes through. Now, the, one of the questions is always, well, why doesn't he have more of this lateral movement so that he would have more of a look like that as he came into the ball instead of straight up and down. Well, part of what I see going on with his movement is when he, if he was more side bent here, uh, as we're looking at this down the line, if he was more side bent here and he had a little bit more of that hip bump, then in order to have the same path, you would have to have the, the arms work a little bit more across his body, um, the white movement that we describe on our site. Now, Patrick Reed is one of the uh, larger golfer and he's got a little bit more mass in his stomach and so that white movement would be very very difficult. So you will tend to see with golfers who are a little bit stockier like this that they're going to have more of a rotational movement and not take advantage of some of the the lower body translations. Now part of that will show up in 
uh, his some of his statistics. So he is currently 190th in driving accuracy. And when it comes to club head speed, he's 29th, but his total rank in distance is 73rd. So there are a number of guys who don't swing the club as fast as he does, but get more out of it as far as the launch characteristics. And part of that is going to be because of this lack of tilt and how that relates to the longer swing. Um, but that's also part of the reason why he does pretty well with uh, the, the wedges. Um, his iron ranking is higher than his driver ranking, so he would fit into more of a stacked type swing, um, not stack and tilt, but stacked as in his upper body is more on top of his lower body. He doesn't have a huge amount of that axis tilt, so uh, he's going to struggle a little bit with the path with the driver as well as maximizing his distance. Now let's talk a little bit about how he um, shallows the club during transition because I think that's one of the key movements that makes him uh, one of the more promising rising stars. So here we have a great close-up um, with a good frame rate of Patrick Reed uh, going into his transition. So we know that the lower body is going to do a little straightening pivot move, but I w what I want you to look at is I want you to look at the movement of his arms and shoulders. So just as a reference line, not giving you any amount that you should be striving for, you can see where he has the club there. Now as he starts going up towards the, or as he's ending his backswing and kind of starting transition, you'll see that the, the club has already started to shallow out slightly, and now as he starts down, you can see that it's shallowing out even more. So one of the things that we talk about with the arm shallowing is this difference between the club moving, or the grip of the club moving straight down versus moving more out. Um, you can see that Patrick does a great job in transition of getting the club to shallow and move more out. So now, because he has the arms in a very good shallow position, he can get away with having his body in a little bit more steep or a little bit more uh, stacked version um, and just rotate around because most of the shallowing has happened from the arms with a little bit of shallowing happening from the body uh, backing up. Now, that's also part of the reason why he appears to have that, that stall through impact um, to allow the, the club to kind of tumble and catch up. Um, but the, the shallow piece that he does in transition is really beautiful and part of the reason why I think he has had the success that he has had. But that's also part of the reason why he's able uh, to hit the ball with as much curve or as much draw as he tends to. Um, so it's one of those catch-22s uh, or I guess one of those trade-offs of how much you want to draw the ball um, how much you want to have the ability to shape your shots. Um, Patrick Reed has his pattern figured out and he knows it very, very well. If you'd like to have your favorite golfer analyzed, please send us a message and let us know who you'd like us to take a look at. Or if you have any questions about your own game, uh, stop over at Golf Smart Academy, check out our free content as well as the the over 400 videos within the membership site to help you understand uh, the big picture, the micro moves, and everything that makes your golf swing work.